Hey guys, welcome to Zaz episode 77. We have a couple guests today. We got my buddy. What? Oh, <laughs> what the? Oh, I thought you were Waleed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. <laughs> and, and JT and Waleed. Oh, oh my, duos oh my oh. god, ah. just a couple of duos. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome for official announcement and proper introduction. Chad and J- JT from Chad and JT Go Deep Podcast. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, they are here. First time meeting with each other. First Thank time you. meeting yeah, ever. Yeah. What up, dudes? Handshakes. handshakes. It's handshakes. a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. An absolute pleasure. Good to see you. Do you guys do beach handshakes? Oh, yeah, we do. Italian or kisses. Italian <laughs> mooches. Uh, yeah. We, we do the, you do the knock it. Here. You go like this. I, I, here. Go like this. Thumb out, and then I forget the rest. But <laughs> then, it goes, and then you knock it's it, your and you we do a hang loose. Yeah, 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 shaka. So oh. I totally muffed that up. You can cut that. <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what you just earned yourself yeah. was a dunna, dunna, dunna. Shaka yeah. tap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just outed myself as a huge poser. <laughs> All good. Well, uh, welcome to the beach. This is Zaz Beach. Yes, that's right. That's right. This is our lovely set. Uh, we have a ton of people out here on the beach. Uh, no one has died yet, mm-hmm. thanks to our good old lifeguard, Kenny. Kenny. Hey, thanks, yeah. guys. Well, yeah. no one's died yet. That's yes. Emphasis on the yet. I hope this kind of reminds you guys of your home, the OC, right? For yeah. sure. You guys are both and OC boys. Yeah. Is that a hard, is that a hard place to rep, Orange County? No, it's the easiest place to rep. Really? It's the best place in the world. Yeah, <laughs> why, 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 but why would you suggest other I don't know, because I'm from the OC. Oh, you don't like it? No, I, I mean, it's it was good. It's all right if you don't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. It's just like... I can't, I can't. <laughs> On I, the spot. I can't be, be- like, uh, OC. It's a hated thing. Yeah. But we have like, the infrastructure is so solid. The streets are so wide and the, the lawns are so well manicured. But like, more- I mean, we've perfected the track home. I think we have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> and then dead like fish LA's- tacos, a yeah. lot of buff dudes. LA's trying to adapt the five lane highway. You guys have like the 10 lane like down there, dude. No? Yeah. yeah. But like when you think about Chicago, like Chi Town, you know, we get down, whatever, right? I can't be like, oh, see, my parents are financially stable. And rich. I know you totally can yeah. say that. Yeah. My parents yeah. have done very well for themselves, and I'm very <laughs> proud of them. <laughs> Through uncertain economic times, they've made prudent decisions at the expense of others. <laughs> we will continue to do that. <laughs> what what uh, OC cities are you guys from? I'm actually, dude. Another oh, pose. I'm not from those. Dude, you're a poser. Yeah. yeah. We, can't, we can't edit everything out, dude. What like, the fuck? Dude. <laughs> hey, you, guys, you guys just assume. All right? Wait, what? <laughs> you got, uh, I'm from Northern California. Oh, where? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Born in Sacramento. Uh, and then I lived in Bay Area, San Francisco. I'm from Rural. Pleasanton, Livermore, Danville. You're from Pleasanton? Dude, yeah. I went to Santa Clara. And you're what pro- the fuck? And you're yeah. appropriating wow. my, you're appropriating my culture? Yeah, dude. I bre- <laughs> <laughs> Every time people are like, where are you from? Like, <laughs> Laguna. <laughs> Rides up. <laughs> dude, now that you say Sacramento, you do this. And like, you did like the fake hang loose thing. I'm like, Sacramento people doing this is like, you're like gridlocked up there, dude. Yeah, dude. There's hey, absolutely me, no way that you Let me ask do. you something. Is Sacramento considered the Bay? Uh, it is if you listen to Mac Dre. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Dude, so he has the whole thing. We have a uh, poster. I saw the Sacramento yeah. one right there. He has a thing where uh, he legitimately thought that Sacramento was the Bay. And like, not Mac Dre joke or anything. Yeah. He legit thought that Sacramento was the Bay. We just let him go with that. We had Blake Anderson. And then I got, yeah. I got attacked. Yeah. Oh my. You, you yeah. deserved it to, to be attacked. Like as if I said something racist. Like <laughs> really? that, that was like the level of anger people had. Yeah. I like Sacramento, we got the Delta. 
Okay. Which is good water skiing, good wakeboarding. Isn't that like yeah. the dirtiest like water like ever? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I you're no your and not like system. dirty, yeah. like no slang, dirty term, like just dirty water. No, like straight that. up dirty, but yeah. boost your like JT said, you get that good bacteria in you. It's I heard COVID started in the Delta water. Yeah, yeah. It dies in there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can be swimming in there if you kiss someone with COVID, you won't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually patient zero. I was wake surfing. <laughs> Very and I had a sore throat. I'm like, I can't taste my pokey. <laughs> <laughs> and then it started. Tom Hanks got it. We were like, oh, no. And as an OC resident, I don't believe in COVID. So yeah, that's I cool. Agree. It's Ahmed, cool you guys brother. are out here. Ahmed. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Uh, San Juan Capistrano in Orange County. Very nice. There where, you the, go. where the sure, doves sure. are supposed to fly, but they actually haven't flown there since like the 1970s. <laughs> For the Swallows Day Parade? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, oh, okay. do we yeah. know about this? The Swallows yeah, Day okay. I, uh, I grew up in Dana. So I, oh, uh, dude. Yeah, Did yeah, you go yeah, to Dana yeah. Hills? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro, yeah. let's go. Let's Dolphins. Let's go, dude. Were you, you also a dolphin? No, I went to Santa Margarita <laughs> Catholic High School for two years, got yeah. booted, and then I was in the inaugural graduating class at J. Sarah when my dad was on the board. Damn. No way, dude. Yeah, I, I did my freshman year at J. Sarah, and then I transferred to J. Wait, isn't J. Sarah also like... Catholic or something. Very like that? Catholic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more Catholic than the other ones. Like which, that's part of which, the rep. Which Kenny? Do you remember? It was either that RSM right or J. Sarah. There was a kid writing, uh, like, sh on in the bathroom with his shit. Was that a real? Oh, story? oh yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Wait, yeah. that, I knew a guy who did that in junior high, and I used to bring it up to him. <laughs> I brought it up, Colby. I brought it up to him for years. <laughs> after. I didn't know it was there. Every, every time I yeah. every time I'd see him, I'd be like, "Dude, remember when he, he's like, bro, stop talking about that." <laughs> well, I know about um, it. He's an OC legend. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same Wait. guy. That was just like a thing we did. So there was a couple <laughs> of us, but not me personally, but guys I, I you know, ran with that uh Dude, that puts you on a list. We're shit a hurlers. <laughs> There's a list. Yeah, I didn't Is know. Like, What's the art to shit smearing? I think just the the well, art. Well, I, I heard I, heard I might be talking about a different thing, but my buddy Colby his buddy took a shit on the floor of the bathroom and then Colby grabbed his buddy's shit, which I thought was oh, really oh. Was it just, his hands or Doesn't that make it crazy like if it's his own shit? It almost feel it feels it, contained crazy. in a way. Still but, crazy. He, <laughs> he, but he grabbed another. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, to the, to the, <laughs> he grabbed another into the listeners. Uh, he just grabbed in. someone else's <laughs> shit and threw it against the wall, and then he wrote. Oh, that he, oh wrote, you're he, 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 <laughs> he wrote. He, he wrote in it. I think he like smeared. He tried to do like a Stussy symbol or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna put the uh, the factor ad read in right here. Yeah, I was so headlong into talking about shit, I forgot this was being recorded. No. <laughs> well, I heard. I remember that I there was a story where someone was writing like with their shit in the school, and then like the principal came on like the TV broadcasting, like we will catch you, like we're gonna oh. come after you. Yeah, they're gonna do like yeah. fecal analysis. And yeah, and they ca apparently they yeah. caught him in the act mid mid. Smear. Really? Yeah. This is what I've heard. This is what I've heard. Wow. That's tough. Yeah. That's like the you know the target a guy who was like shoplifting and he had he reached into his back and he was getting taken out by security guards and shat in his hand and smeared it in the security guard's face or she smeared it on his own. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. last weapon of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, dude, that video was fucking crazy. If you get caught red-handed too, you can't like pretend you're an undercover. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm under. I'm, <laughs> I'm with you guys. Yeah, I'm with you Guys, I was just, yeah, I'm just trying to find Stay the guy. Side. Yeah. You guys are watching Catch Me If You Can. It's like yeah. that. <laughs> I'm gaining the real guy's trust. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I was so deep into character. I was drawing a dick with the shit. And then, so It'd be funny if he gets like shit fright and he can't shit. He's like, oh, everyone's going to know I'm undercover. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. fucking shit right now. If you're now. the real deal, you'll <laughs> shit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, are you one of us or are you a cop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, go on. <laughs> Smear it in my face. Yeah. Sorry. Just gets anxiety Wait, shits. What year did you graduate high school? Oh, six. I'm old. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn. I can't say that. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Well, I was going to think of what I was. I, I, I felt it I was. That's like yeah. the Kevin Hart reaction. You know, he's like, damn. Damn. <laughs> Five years away from 9-11. Right. <laughs> That's how you calculate if you're old or not. <laughs> well, I remember where I was at. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what year did you graduate? Uh, 2012. Oh, okay. From San Juan Hills. Was that wasn't say. even, a, that was a brand new high school. Yeah, it was like the second there. year graduating class. When did your dad leave the board? I don't, I think he's still on it. I think it's a lifetime wow. thing. He just doesn't like participate the way he used to. Got it. 
but it helped me a lot because I, I had like a 1.7 GPA. So yeah, he I, I don't I don't think I would have graduated without <laughs> his largesse. So I love you, Dad. <laughs> I love you. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's fun. Uh, further intros, because again, first time meeting here. Uh, I hear you go by Chad, or you go by uh, yeah. I do go by Chad. Okay. Yeah, my real name is Tom. Uh, a lot of uncovering. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. I didn't know you guys yeah. were gonna do all this hardcore journalism. You're, bra- you're breaking the fourth wall yeah. big time. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Damn. We're gonna no. do everything you said. No, 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 no. We can talk about it. I'm more open about. It. We, we you know, we used to uh, like early on when we were doing our stuff. We wanted to be like uh, just maintain the kind of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. mystique. Yes. Uh, this isn't a beach, by the way. Just to break fourth wall again. Mm-hmm. Just so you oh. <laughs> I thought that was like a real rip. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. dude. <laughs> um, but then, uh, yeah, we started doing the the our like city council kind of pranks and all, all that kind of stuff. And uh, and people, I, I thought it was just so clearly a character, but people thought I was that guy. <laughs> so then we're like, I guess I'm just gonna be Chad now. So I'm Chad, but- uh, I'm not gonna lie, the vibe you bring now is sounds almost just like the city council vibe. Not a bad Oh, way. dude, no, thank you. But yeah. you're well, very like, chill. Well, I, I, I went like this, very chill, <laughs> yeah. very fucking, yeah. It's very aspirational, the, the, the character. So I always try to like, we always talk about that. It's like, we always try to aspire to their kind of level of carefree. Yeah. It was crazy when the cameras were off, energy. you introduced, you're like, hey, Chad, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, Chad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cameras are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my shoulders yeah, go yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took a fucking yeah, yeah. bong rip behind the couch. Or like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Ledger moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's fucking click. Well, that's the thing. But like, it's a character. I'm like, yeah, but it's kind of just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's uh yeah. So it it like started very much as a character, and that kind of evolved more into me. Except I do dumb it down. Yeah. Uh, at least it's like a very chill character versus like. If you're like someone more animated, you're like, do the thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do the yeah, thing. Yeah. right. Yeah. If I was just a huge nozzle. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. my God. I, I could, yeah, I'd just be on camera like, what's up, guys? <laughs> Dude, I could never do that. <laughs> That's easy. We're taking a quick break to thank our sponsor, Factor. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre prepared, chef crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. That's a great word, Wally. I said it loud and proud. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. That's better than your cart, Wally. You don't even have those jobs. Jeez, man. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a great, feel-good week of meals ready to go. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Whoa. Snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Sign up and save We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Factor is a perfect solution if you're looking for a fast, upscale options done easily. Flexible for your schedule, get as much or as little as you need, choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you could pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. So head to factormeals.com slash Zaz50 and use code Zaz50 to get 50% off. That makes sense. That's code Zaz50 at factormeals.com slash Zaz50 to get 50% off. Thanks, Factor. Thank you. Uh, we're watching your Friday, your guys' Friday beer pod with them, and you, mm-hmm. and you, you're not JT. You have a, a different name as well. Aren't you John Thompson or like... No, JT. The John Thomas, the initials. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. JT, yeah. like out of the womb, you weren't JT. No, my parents. I mean, my parents didn't nickname me JT, but they call me JT now. Like everyone's kind of fuck me. We can. Have- yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't watch all the pod. I don't I know. Like, I- John <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> and JT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like- no, sorry. I just wanted to get the full full name, full intros. Uh, you know what? Yeah. It was, but it was funny. I went by JT till I was like 21, and then when I first moved to LA, I started going by John. Like I might have been John when I first. Yeah, you we first started hanging out. And then once so we started doing the show. characters, I was like, oh, I should go back to JT because I'm going back to my bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no. how did you guys meet in Orange County? 
No, doing stand up in LA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We tell people we met at Hogue Hospital uh, <laughs> as babies. <laughs> like when we were both <laughs> born. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. he slid out, and I was like, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah. And then we tell people that we've met. Doing a four hose beer bong at Landon's, Fuck. yeah, because our buddy Kellen had to slip out because he was on antibiotics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love beer bongs. I haven't done I a beer bong in like ten years. Have not done a beer bong. Oh, I wish we wanted to bring in for you guys. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be so, so fun. Really <laughs> ten a.m. beer. Bong. They're the best. Yeah, <laughs> uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. We could yes, yeah, beer bong. Yeah, come back in. Did you guys not do beer bongs on Valentine's Day? Uh, Valentine's I'll Day do. is a perfect what time do to do a yeah. beer bong. <laughs> no, we just did. We did coke. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. But we oh, tested. It. We tested it. So. <laughs> 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 so. Coke's a good loving. Oh, we love yeah. coke. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, I mean, my gal to. deserves it. Yeah. She needs a night off. What are you guys doing for patties? Uh, do that. I, I assume coming back here and beer bong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some green beer bongs? Yeah. Our yeah. Lifeguard. Uh, Chad, I actually saw you do stand up like oh, pre council days. Oh, wow. Uh, um, I was a student at UCLA and you did a show on the shitty. It was the shittiest venue. It was a it was a staircase. <laughs> sta- I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, It was six students leaning up against the shitty brick staircase leading yeah. to a parking garage. Yeah. And I remember coming home to my apartment and being like, "Yeah, that show sucked, but there's one funny guy." Oh, really? Hey. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Was it yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, he takes this whole yeah. story. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. yeah. <laughs> Thank no, you, man. It was, yeah, it was great. So it's it's cool to see you guys like blow up, man. Oh, you guys thanks, are doing man. So well, yeah. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Very cute. How yeah. long have you guys been doing stand up? Dude. Forever, man. Like nine years or something. Oh. Yeah, because you guys are going on tour. Yeah, right. yeah T and B right. Touch and Bus tour. Yeah, yes. next up. Yeah, when's this coming up? Uh, uh, two, next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are we next? We're in Sacramento Starting next. April third. No, San Francisco. Arlington. Yeah, Sacramento, San Francisco, Plano, Tempe, Fort Worth. Arlington. Yeah. No, uh, Irvine, what the hell? <laughs> we do that yeah. one, but that one's yeah. always more last second because it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah. Those are the best, though, because like, then I get like teachers from high school show up. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, much yeah, friends yeah. and family. Yeah. It is really fun. You're nervous, though, because they all know you so well, and they all hit you up for tickets last second. Yeah. But... I prefer when I don't know anyone in the crowd. That yeah. is nice. Yeah. We're yeah. To, uh, we just did a pod uh, recently with Fahim, and uh, we were talking to him on his pod about like uh, relationships, uh, like if he's in one, mm-hmm. and then if he brings the girlfriend to the set, because it's mm-hmm. like, you guys know the Seinfeld joke where it's like two worlds colliding, like George's world and then like yeah. that. Yeah. So he did not like having the girlfriend world watching him do stand up because he likes to do jokes about like being single or something like that. So yeah. it's just like two worlds like that we're not happy colliding. But yeah. No, I agree with that. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I was more like cool about it, but uh, typically like with my girlfriend, I brought her to some like two shows early so she would know I was like what I do and like that I was hopefully competent at it. And then after I had a good set, I was like you never have to watch me again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I with, with my girlfriend, I I, I was took a risk. I Brought her to a show in San Diego on my second date. Wow! With her. Whoa, yeah. bold. And and it was bold. and we there was like some serious chemistry, and I'm like I was like yeah, this could really blow up in my face, <laughs> uh, but it went well, and then we current we made out after. What's up? Current girlfriend. Current girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. It worked. Oh, thank yeah. God. It worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. she's the one who got away. Asking a little, yeah. a lot of dicey questions <laughs> right now, but yeah, yeah. rolling with it. I yeah. think people. Are, I've never. I, like I had an ex who was a comedian, we wouldn't watch each other's sets because oh, yeah. I was like, if I do bad, there's no way we're gonna like <laughs> no, yeah. hook yeah, up yeah. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be able to get hard, and you're not gonna want me to. <laughs> <laughs> like, not but, gonna work. Yeah, and we were doing like open mics. I was like, you don't want to see this. It's gonna be. Brutal. Do you guys ever do any open mics in OC? Sure. Yeah, Blue Danube was like where I kind of started doing my first sets. It was like mostly a music open mic. And I would go up there and do like kind of hacky ripoffs of like Hannibal Burris jokes and just bomb my face off. But there, yeah, there was a couple. Actually, OC has a good stand up scene. A lot of the good uh, LA comics started there, like Opie, Keith Carey, Connor McSpadden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Connor McSpadden. Yeah, I remember seeing me. I, I used to do open mics like years, years ago. And uh, I remember he was like starting out there too. Yeah. What, yeah. Is he still doing stand up? Yeah, he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, he's yeah, super really funny. funny. Ramsey Badawi. Yeah. There was a lot of good OC yeah. guys. I noticed you guys didn't say Kenny Murphy. Doing stand-up. <laughs> no, yeah, no. That was I did an uh, anchor bar. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, dude, yeah, yeah with the Evan anchor Cassidy. bar. Yeah. Cassidy. yeah, he's a great yeah. guy. The cast yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. he's such yeah. a legend. Good dude. I love yeah. the cast legend. Man. Is he still so so along? <laughs> yeah, I saw him recently. I guess the anchor bar got shut down. No, but not horrible. surprised. The pizza's yeah. good. The pizza's good. But <laughs> he's good pizza. He's uh, he's doing this new show at the Harp Inn. 
It's uh, oh, it's it's like okay. an Irish pub in uh, Costa Mesa. Oh, very cool. Yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. All right. That was a fun show. The Anchor yeah. Bar one was good. He would pack so that good. thing out. That was an event. Monday really night. Was. Yeah. 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 It's hard yeah, to get people on a Monday, I would imagine too. And it, he, yeah. He that was a good it. open yeah. mic for Orange County too. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, he did uh, stand up in OC a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bombed nice. all the time. Yeah, it's yeah, tough. Yeah. People yeah. don't really laugh at that. He opened for David Spade. Oh yeah, I got to the That's cool. David Spade, but no, it wasn't good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Upset. yeah, well, I mean, it's a different audience. Yeah, sure. It's like OC David Spade fans, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, f- I feel like David Spade would crush an OC. Yeah, that he feels crushed, like his, like, crushed. yeah, his, like, uh, that's his home right there. I was gonna call it his meatball, but that's not right. <laughs> oh, like a, like oh, his a bread and butter? Pitch? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's close. I can see that. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> how, how many years into it? Were you when you did that? Yeah, uh, dude, you, 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 you were on a fast track in OC. You, you were like less than a year in, and you were yeah. like, "Yeah, I'm gonna open for David Spade." I'm like, "Wow, yeah. can we watch yeah. the set? Do you have no, it no? I, it's <laughs> yeah. uh, scrubbed. You can, you yeah. can. <laughs> scrubbed everywhere. I remember he came up to me after. He's like, "Just keep going, buddy." Like, yeah, not yeah. step foot ever again. <laughs> I, yeah, it, it's funny when you when you do a set on someone else's show, and I had this I did this one recently. I bombed, and the guy looks at me. He's like. Keep doing your thing. Dad. Yeah, like, what else <laughs> you say? Was your girlfriend there? No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. You're still together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You pick and choose the shows that you bomb at. I that, see. That was like if the girl you're dating is. Like, Keep doing your thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask what your guys' uh, favorite form of uh, medium, like content, because you guys have done stand-up. You guys have done, I would uh, say, prank kind of videos, like the council stuff mm-hmm. is kind of public prank, and you guys still do, like, you guys were just at, like, a uh, car meetup kind of vibe oh, yeah, recently, yeah. 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 So uh, do you guys like doing on-camera stuff, or do you guys like in-person kind of uh, comedy? Uh, better. Or, or or podcasting. Um, do you want to go first? Sure. I uh, I love acting. Oh that's wow, like my, my, that was yeah. a medium I did not even mention. Yeah, I love I love acting. So that's sort of my favorite thing to do is playing a fun character. I think that's when I have the most fun. And then I'd say it's acting, stand up, pranks. Got it. It's tough. I mean, they're all kind of at equal, but yeah. I, I'd say. Yeah, I, 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 that, uh, yeah, I think yeah. that's, that's what I would say acting for me too is first. It's so yep. fun. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. like podcasting? I, we can break the fourth wall here. But I love it. I yeah. mean, I, I, find all, <laughs> I find all mediums a little constrictive, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I do like podcasting. Yeah. yeah. It's I get a hangover from it sometimes yeah. afterwards, though. Like when I drive oh, yeah. home, I always feel like a little You guys go icky. long, dude. You guys go like an yeah. hour. I saw hour 47 recently. Yeah. Like, damn, dude. I, uh, I, I I like podcasting. You know, I, I, I was never really, I was always really quiet. Not much of a talker, so it was like I'd say That's it was why I kinda, like acting. Yeah, I'd say it was the most difficult medium for me to kind of like. It, it, but it's been so helpful for me to like open up yeah. and learn how to be like more of a talker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but uh, when I first started, I yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're taking a quick break to thank our sponsor, Joy Mode. Whether you're looking to get lucky or spice up those intimate moments with your partner, Joy Mode's sexual performance booster is an all-natural and science-backed solution to every man's greatest fear, releasing the love too soon. Move on from those sketchy gas station erection pills and treat yourself to a supplement that you could actually trust no prescription needed. Simply mix with six to eight ounces of water 45 minutes before sexual activity and watch the love unfold. Literally. Date night will never be the same when you go to usejoymode.com for 20% off with code Zaz. That's a 20% off and free shipping with code Zaz at usejoymode.com. You know, Wally and I are about to get bricked the mm-hmm, heck up after mm-hmm, this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, pod. Plus joy mode? Game over. <laughs> oh my god, the uh, imagination is going to run wild. What's going to happen after this episode <laughs> with joy mode? Oh baby, joy mode sexual performance booster is like a pre-workout, but for sex. Designed to support erection quality, firmness, and sex drive. It contains clinically supported doses of arginine nitrate, L-citrulline, panax, ginseng, and vitamin C. I don't know about you, but I'll never go back to prescription drugs after trying Joy Mode. Small enough to fit in your wallet and to take with you on the go. It's the perfect date night companion. So go to usejoymode.com and get 20% off with the code ZOS at checkout. That's 20% off and free shipping with code ZOS at 
Use J-O-Y-M-O-D-E dot com. Be at your best when love is in the air with Joy Mode. Thank you, Joy Mode. Oh. I think I like um I like doing pranks a lot. I like acting off. I like when I am doing like a narrative, but it's in the real world and the people I'm acting with don't know I'm in a narrative. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. trying to get it to move towards like uh like trying to get those things to come together in a way. I like like the it's kind of exploit I, I took a narcissism test. I score high on exploitation. So <laughs> like, online? Did you go yeah. online? <laughs> yeah, it was like thirty questions. So I don't know how And then you get uh, the emails afterwards. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. now I'm in. But <laughs> yeah. I, I like kind of yeah, like it's it's psychotic, but I like tricking people in a gentle way and getting them to be part of this narrative yeah. that they don't know they're in. And then I really like uh it's funny, I haven't really done it, but I like I was always obsessed with plays. I love theater a lot. Wow. Yeah, I like Holy the shit. I like dialogue heavy storytelling. I like the the I'm going to get real pretentious. I like the musicality of it. Like yep, I like just yep. like uh It's very animated. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I like the way that there's like levels to it. Like it's what they're saying and then what they're not saying and it's like pushing the story in different ways. So I like like Sam Shepard and David Mamet a lot and all the good like American playwrights. Wow. Those those are my are guys. You still in theater? Or like- no, but I go see it a lot. Like I just I saw this play out here called Power of Sale with Brian Cranston. That was like amazing. That's sick. And then I just saw this play. I didn't know he was doing theater. Yeah. Ryan Cranston. I thought he was doing the tequila thing. Yeah. 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 That's all he does. Well, that's probably, that's his love. He does theater for the money. Um, <laughs> Mixing like tequila yeah. mixes. But yeah, he was amazing in it. He was so good. And it was a really good play. Cool. What about yeah. musicals? You ever go to a musical? I don't like those ones as much. You know, it's funny. Those ones, they do make me emotional. Like I'll cry a little bit yeah. during a musical because it's just so overwhelming. My dad cries a lot during musicals too, so that's something that's consistent in the family. Yeah. Wow. But uh, my brother's more of a musical guy. I'm not as big into musicals. Yeah. It's shocking it? to hear that you have like a one point whatever GPA because it sounds like you're like very well read and and like. Well, you're that's me. Comp- that's me compensating. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I sucked yeah. at tests. Like school, like bad. But outside, yeah, very. No, I'm bad both. <laughs> yeah. Both bad both. Yeah, yeah, bad both. it's hard dude like <laughs> yeah. I, I think about that all the time like i was like just super annoying and like i, I got kicked out of a school because i just couldn't shut the fuck up but like <laughs> it is crazy they just put us in classrooms for like 10 hours in a day yeah. and then sent us home with like three hours of homework like i don't know who they thought they were dealing with yeah. but i was i was not cut out for that <laughs> lifestyle Did you guys you guys go to college did you go to Saddleback? <laughs> I went to Saddleback. Yeah, <laughs> I went to like yeah, we out. I went to about nine different junior colleges, so I did the rounds. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah I went to well, I went to Santa Clara University. Okay, nice. nice. I loved it. It's bad. That yeah. that was a party school. It was part. You know, I went back recently. I think they've kind of. Oh, they toned it down. I think they toned it down. You know, I I was talking to my buddy about this because he, he went there with me, my buddy Nick, and he's like, he's like, yeah, I think after like after our year, the school made a serious effort to like. <laughs> restrict the partying and we went back there in october thursday night that's when you go out to the bars yeah yeah i'm like let's go down bellamy street the main street nothing yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, there weren't even like ta- you know back in the day there were tables on the lawns with you know people playing beer dye there's beer cans everywhere yep. and we were walking out i'm like where are the tables like where the- where's there- no one's raging yeah does everyone here study now? This is yeah. ridiculous. We yeah. visited your old frat though. And the yeah, dudes were the dudes are cool. swell guys. They, they were nice. I man. mean, they're uh, yeah. Santa Clara dudes are always solid dudes like and ladies. San Luis Obispo, good party school. Oh, see, I've never oh, been yeah. to Slow. I hear good that things. That is a fun party school. Yeah, yeah. is like that where the gum wall like is? Thirty year old dudes <laughs> <laughs> talking about where's yeah, yeah dude. Where top of the party know. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back. Where you gonna ask? Where'd you go? I went to. This, I didn't. I, <laughs> I went to Saddleback. Hey, it's okay, I transferred man. to uh, Cal State Long Beach. I got accepted. Guys, don't get it twisted. Yeah. And then I did orientation. I just wasn't into it. No, you, you're track coach, dude. Well, that too. That was also fucked. Was oh, fun. you do track? Where we, so I, was, I had like a full run to uh, a couple of schools. And it was like all because of like track and field and cross country. And then my coach... Uh, got into a relationship, re- kind of like a romantic with a student. With a, I knew a, that. I knew yeah, it. right yeah, away yeah, from yeah, what you were talking yeah. about. <laughs> I was gonna say he's a OC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That happened a lot in Orange County. It for does, real, bro. It the coach a... culture is really strong down there, and they they, they think they're gurus. It gets weird yeah, fast. They get they get. It's like and it happened all in. A, and he wrote like recommendation letters. We like. Scouts were coming. We went to schools. Like, this guy's a cutie patootie. Yeah. <laughs> Tight ass. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. He's 
my little sweetie pie. The college people reading it are like, what the fuck? I guess he is. Yeah. He's tender and delicate. I like holding it. And then so all of us, all of us just got, all of us just got screwed on the team. And then we all had to go to Saddleback. Like, no one had a full run. Bro, I, I wish junior college was more fun. It should be more fun. Like, yeah. when I got to Saddleback, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to keep partying like I did in high school. I'm going to, like, create a culture here. But the sadness is so it's strong. Very sad over you there, can't yeah. overwhelm it. Like, everyone goes into the classroom and is like, I want to be somewhere else. No one's happy to be there. Yeah. And it, it permeates through everything. I went to, it was an extension campus uh, off the main one. And uh, I had financial aid. And I paid 95 cents per semester. It was fucking sick. That is a, awesome. That's I had a, I had a card, a financial aid card, and I would use it for like anything and everything. I would, I'm for gas mainly, yeah, yeah, and just yeah, like yeah. getting to school, school associated stuff. But yeah, that like 95 cents is. Where, where were you? Uh, DVC. San, okay. San Ramon. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But. Yeah. This is a super loked out podcast. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're getting into the nooks and crannies of our community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, that's what it's all about. Doxing dude. the fuck out of yeah. ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah my out. parents are on that. Yeah. 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 Dude, Saddleback was also kind of like, the people could just kind of sucked over there too. Yeah. Now that I can. <laughs> Because I, I remember, you know, I remember hey, the coach stuff is gone, brother. Yeah, you don't no, need to no, let no. it go. I remember <laughs> what happened. There was like a. Uh, I remember I had like a student ID card and some kid posted it and this is like, you know, OC is like racism or whatever, right? Yeah. He's like, look, I found Osama's like student ID card. Oh, that's not cool. Oh. And then I like, like blasted him on socials and like this, I barely had a following, but I was just like, yo, what the fuck? Whatever, right? And then... I looked him up on IMDb and he was like, I guess one of the vampires from Twilight. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. First of all, you just randomly searching IMDb to see if he was anything. Well, yeah, why, yeah, why would you assume the person <laughs> who's fucking this dude we're, 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 has credits? We're like talking. We're, <laughs> no, we're talking yeah, shit this online. Dude's bullying me. He no, must be. No, 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 he must this, be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Because he said, he said, look me up, bro. Oh. And so I did. And he was like, uh, he was like an extra vampire. He wasn't even like the straight uh, up Right, vampire. but he was hot. He yeah, was hot. Still That's what he meant. He meant, look yeah, me yeah. up, I'm hot. Fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I forgot. I gotta find no, that, it. That shit pissed me off a lot about Orange Cat. There's a ton of, ra- and it's not very diverse. So I'd always be like, who are you even mad at? Yeah, like, exactly. These people aren't even around. <laughs> and I, I'm a half Latino, but I look like more Jewish yeah. and so I would get picked there's like a lot of anti-Semitism in Orange County and barely any Jewish people and they would just I would go to like uh, we'd always go to this Jack in the Box called Oso oh Jack and like a bunch of schools would hang out there and these a lot of guys like to fight in Orange County and these psychos just on site would be like fuck you and start saying all this horrible yep, Jewish yep, shit to like, me yep. and I and I'd be like dude I'd be like there's no you don't even know any Jewish people I'm yeah, like who are you upset at yeah. yeah it was just a uh, I don't know. I think American History X came out like at a certain time where like, <laughs> I, I swear to God, that movie like was supposed to be anti-racism, but like they people watched it and Edward Norton's so charismatic in it that dudes were like, it's actually kind of sick to be a white supremacist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just, almost like, like, I'm almost very, is fucked up. I'm almost kind of thankful that it happened. In Orange County, because now when it happens online, I'm like, oh, this is you're not, ready for it. Yeah, yeah, it's not as bad as got, like, IRL. The for yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then and Glorious Bastards came out, and then it was cool to be a hater. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Yeah, yeah no, movies matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's your Who's your friend group in Orange County? Was it the Hispanics or was it the No? I, 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 actually, IMDb? it was. Yeah. At, at Jay Sarah, my friends were uh, mostly Hispanic, and I'm, I'm still tight with a lot of them. But the school before it was just all white bros. Yeah, and yeah, And they're yeah. like my closest friends still. Like it, I text with them in San Juan Hills. It was very divided. It was either Hispanics or just white people. So I was like, I'm just going to go with the, Dude, the my one Mex- that I look like. My Mexican <laughs> friends, at, at my second high school, they actually, my Mexican friends were my best friends and they hurt my feeling because some they, they sat at one table and someone wrote something racist on their table and they found the guy and they did like a big meeting with them and, and my friend Ramon did a good job of like, holding his feet to the fire about like why what he did was wrong but then afterwards Ramon came up to him he's like dude at first we thought it was you <laughs> like, I, was like, I was like dude what the fuck man I was like you guys are my friends but like I guess cause I was kind of they called me payaso like yeah, clown yeah. they were like but you're always fucking around I was like I wouldn't do that dude <laughs> uh, they were like they, they would fight like if you got in a they would talk shit too yeah they were hilarious yeah. they were great guys yeah I do have to reference this shirt that I'm wearing right now. Sorry, guys. I lost a bet. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, pull it up for the camera. Shout out to Pissed and Pickled. Uh, do you guys know Meat Canyon? Hunter Hancock, part of the TMG crew, YouTube. Sounds familiar. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I DM his mom 
a lot. Uh, Indiana's mom. Yeah. Well, his mom also like has a podcast. <laughs> yeah, she has the podcast. Whoa, big oh, flex. Yeah, 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 dominated. Yeah, 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 fuck you, yeah, Hunter. We're friends with them. We're friends with but, them. But yeah, I have to <laughs> wear the shirt. Don't say it like that. Yeah. Is this camera on me? Yeah. Piss and pickle. Shouts out to you, Missy and Lori. Go Chiefs. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that hurts so yeah. bad. <laughs> do you just say go Chiefs? Yeah, I'm a nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I you know. know. I know. <laughs> now, how do you feel about like uh, all the rigged stuff? Do you feel like I haven't watched a single clip of anything sports related at all? I've just been on my feed. It's funny enough because I am a big AM radio guy. And I like listening to Cowherd. I like listening to uh, Dan Patrick and all that yeah, stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, but I stopped listening to them and I switched over to FM. And they started, FM radio started highlighting the Super Bowl. And I was like, God fucking damn it. Like, leave me alone. Like, I switched to like, I just switched to podcast now. I'm like off the radio. I'm off the grid. Uh, but the rig shit, like, I don't know, dude. I saw like a couple holding stuff. I saw like, they've only had one holding call in like the last three Super Bowls yeah, or some shit uh, like that. Whatever. Don't care. Just fucking win next time, please for the love of god but yeah, did man. you guys watch yeah of course. yeah yeah okay who do you put it on do you put it on shanahan purdy who, who do you think's like the uh, uh where the the fault lies i um if we want to go really x's and o's like the steve wilkes play calling was very similar to the vikings game and it was just very lackadaisical like just let them go down the field kind of vibe so, he got fired uh, right he got fired no uh steve wilkes was the defensive coordinator for the got niners it, it. uh brock purdy played fine uh, Shanahan's play calling was a little off in the second half. Like not giving the ball to McCaffrey. Yeah. What had um, depressed you? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. So, uh, even today, they uh, I was listening to FM radio again. <laughs> and today on the way here, uh, they were doing uh, little jokes. Like call- callers were calling in. And one of the callers, like dad jokes, one of the callers called in and said, uh, why do they call them the 49ers? And I was driving. I was like, God. And he's like, because they can't get past the 50-yard line. I was in my car. I was like, no. No, they had one of the best offenses in the end. NFL, all right? <laughs> so I was like just defending them, like just by myself yeah. in the car. You yeah. call in the radio station? <laughs> no, actually, they got past the 50 yard line a lot. Okay. So radio yeah. is Zach's favorite medium. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't have the face for Cam. I'm, yeah. I'm so, I, I'm so just uneducated with football when they did the toy, uh, coin toss. Yeah. And he's like, we'll take the ball. I was like, nice. We won. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was like, you just yeah. turned it off after that? Like, yeah. fuck yeah. yeah. We won like, the Super Bowl. I was like, dude, they got the ball first. <laughs> this is in the this is in the bag. <laughs> yeah. It's even tough to know this is in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is in the suitcase luggage <laughs> where we put our belongings. They're going to get a down touch. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you guys could have done the sports pod. Or like YouTube. The non-sports, yeah. We had a yeah, we have yeah. the last sports fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. how about Michael Jordan? Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. still playing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, with like prognosticating, he's still right more often than I am. Like, even though he doesn't, dude, write, his betting, yeah. his betting is fucking on yeah. the nose. It's crazy. I, I met girlfriend bet because oh, there you go. Oh, you know, actually, we lost this year. We were close. We lost this year, but the past two Super Bowl, she's... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, here's the, here's the best part. He's always wrong about everything. So he just goes the opposite. Just, whatever he says, you bet the opposite. <laughs> That's yeah. what happens with yeah. us, too. I just overthink it because I'm so in the minutia of it. I'm like, well, actually, Joel Embiid can't hit three-pointers from the corner, so they're going to just put him over there, and then the Sixers win by 20. I'm like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. good. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's our sports takes for today. Yeah, so. we get like five to ten minutes, so we got to move on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 foul tip is alive, alive and well. I wanted to bring up your guys's um, your council stuff that you guys, you know, kind of got. Pop- you say you got popular with the council for meeting sure, stuff, sure. yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you scroll up to uh, uh, part two? You guys just did one about the Epstein list. Yeah. Okay, this one, yes. I just thought it was hilarious that you guys brought up Stephen Hawking. You brought up like you were bold as hell just bringing up the Epstein list and just calling out that they weren't a part of the list, the people on the seats. That was JT's. I think we can all agree none of us saw coming. Trust in the American Institute has officially bottomed out and hit dry reef. At the moment, it feels like our country is run entirely by pervy douche nozzles. <laughs> and I, for one, am no longer stoked on listing bad dudes. The American people need something to kickstart our engines and revamp our stoke. That is why I'm requesting counsel that you release the Keanu Reeves list. <laughs> Celebs, politicians, and world-renowned astrologists who have kicked back with Keanu and exemplify his moral fortitude. <laughs> Altruistic and hot. 
How do you how do you even get into the room? That's what I want to know. It's, it's open, open to anyone. It's open? Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Yeah. Oh, so actually, I can just talk my shit? Yeah, and the uh, election's coming up this year, so I'm sure you guys have plenty of opportunities to speak to the Biden. This year? Yeah. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, four more years. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Who's running? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a uh, po- political podcast, yeah, so, so right, yeah. we can really run through. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's We're like whoever it is, it's going to be mellow. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but you guys, ha- like, thought process of going through it, you guys obviously have a script that you're reading off of when you go up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, thought process, like, beforehand or, like, when we're I mean, there? like, you guys have the bit planned. Okay. Um, I know you, like, for the few clips that I've seen, you're kind of just in the back, just nodding. And I'll do of- some speeches, but then most of the time he goes up first and I just back him up and, and make sure he feels <laughs> strong yeah. and supported. Yeah, we started off, because I, I did the first one, uh, alone and then <laughs> jt joined them we would do like two speeches in one yeah and um and then now it's we just alternate so and then how uh, do you get the video file is this because it's broadcast right they're like yeah, yeah public close. Record. yeah you don't have TV. someone at home t-bowing and- <laughs> <laughs> no, did you get they'll, it <laughs> they'll, they'll, like, see us? <laughs> they'll fuck up the angles like i'm like why didn't they cut to us there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm like Yo, i want to like call culver city and be like hey who's your dp all right <laughs> he's not live switching when he's supposed to get on it <laughs> cut me out of the medium <laughs> shot it's supposed to be a two yeah dude in the last one he stayed in the wide for way too long i'm like you miss half the speech. yeah you text me you're <laughs> yeah. pissed yeah i like, did this friggin boner yeah, over they're, there they're, no, they're directing them like. that, that yeah. was our that was our exchange i was like dude they fucked up <laughs> they totally fucked us after the speech we're like back to one you yeah. messed it up yeah. we heard we a do. plane we gotta do it again yeah. do. they can't stop you right like you they, you have to let you talk yeah, first amendment they've oh. tried to stop it we went to uh where were we uh orange no where was the one in connecticut Delaware. Oh, Delaware. Well, Damn, you guys go worldwide? We, we've done some states. <laughs> well, but we I'm went sure to like, if you do OC enough, they're like, those are the guys. And they know you. Yeah. And then and then it takes away a little bit of the uh, surprise. So we went to Delaware because they were trying to shut down parties because the kids were like lighting cars on fire. Just totally normal stuff that we wanted to support. <laughs> and uh, we went in there and the council could tell we had like created kind of a ruckus. So they put us towards the back of the meeting. They tried to basically wait us out. So we didn't get up till like three in the morning. And then they tried to skip us and not let us speak. When it finally was our turn. And then this one like conscientious person stood up. She wasn't a part of our thing. And she goes, this is America. And they have a right to speak. And they should be heard. And the whole yeah. crowd was like, yeah. And then we went up there and gave our speeches. And I came back and she was like, well, you did have a right to speak. <laughs> 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 it's like hearing, uh, keep doing your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, <laughs> dude they, they, uh, my favorite part about that one is there was this old guy there who went up after us and and in the speech we're talking about beer bongs and stuff and partying your favorite and this guy comes up old guy with like suspenders and he's like and these chaps come up here and they're talking about their bongs or their <laughs> tongs or, or I mean what kind of people are these <laughs> we ended up doing a beer bong with that guy afterwards and now we're like total friends now I'm, he's like in the crew he's yeah we're going to Vegas yeah. with him yeah. next weekend yeah his wife just died so we're gonna go rage oh, yeah. <laughs> what why don't I just run for like for city council or something at this point I, I will at some point i'm gonna run for mayor of something at some point. and yeah. actually my friend who's a big tiktoker she's like helping write a bill about like misinformation uh that's going on on social media and i got a little jelly i was like that's cool for you but i want to do that I wanna so do that. I wanna talk about that yeah stuff. she kicked yeah. up my competitive fire I, I do think at some point i'll i run for it honestly we thought about it before but the hard part was is because he's got the dual names. We're like, who are you going to run as? Dude? Yeah, yeah, true, true. What 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 city would he want to be mayor of? I think Burbank, because that's where I live right now. Burbank would be sick. Mm-hmm. And it's getting heated over there. Like, the Glendale dude was under in hot water. Oh, really? Yeah. Please what? keep the airport a secret. Like, Burbank Airport over is the LAX. Best. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You Please. can show up five minutes before your flight. <laughs> yeah. Please just, Well, Long like, Beach Airport's yeah. the same. Long Beach oh, yeah. a great yeah. airport. And yeah. that one's like outdoor. That yeah. one's got it's like, like a, a bungalow vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. That one's sick. Yeah. That's a good one. Those are two The fire Santa Ana one is too. The Santa, the smaller one? Yeah. Yeah, that one's good. Oh, John Wayne? John Wayne. Yeah. John Wayne's John killer. Wayne. You know, John Wayne, it's a, the steepest like takeoff of any airport because wow. the rich people in Newport don't want to hear planes overhead. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, and they cut off like landing at a certain time. Too, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's like a lot of parameters there. But so the planes have to take off like this, basically. It's like a rocket ship. Good to know. Isn't that sick? Yeah. Dude, we, we were on a plane. We were going to Traverse City, Michigan, and we were landing. Okay. We were landing. Yeah. The wheels touch. Da-doomsh. And he takes right back off oh, again. Yeah, and we're like, we're like <laughs> dude, and we had the iconic, all the passengers just be like, <laughs> 
<laughs> Everyone, I was gonna die with this. Story. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, so we—it's happened to me before. Never the wheels touch, but they've done the like yeah. coming low and then going back up. Yeah. I wasn't, uh, uh, but then, so it's like ten minutes go by, nothing on the intercoms, <laughs> and then finally a flight attendant comes on. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna hear what's up, yeah. and she goes. Hey, yo, uh, we're waiting for an update from the pilot. <laughs> and uh, we're like, what? <laughs> and then the guy's like, 10 minutes later, he's like, yeah, we just uh, hit some wind. And uh, we're like, dude, you can't just like, <laughs> like 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. A lot of times we're not going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I wanted to, we have decent time for Wally to do his uh, take the floor. For uh, the Bob? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys probably don't know, but while lead, please take it away. I'm so I I had this idea to buy a kebab cart like a couple of years ago. Oh sweet! Nice. And so I finally did it this year, and I wrapped it all crazy, like because in the like for some reason the chefs in the Middle East they don't care about like stealing IP, so I did the same. <laughs> I just yeah. made, I do you have a can you pull up a photo of the cart yeah. just to show them? Is it operating? Like oh uh, uh yeah, so it's like. Wow. Ooh, is that uh, lamb? But should do it from the front if yeah. you can. Wow. Yeah. Or you just pull up Ooh, on Oh, yeah, that here. looks good. Wow. There's my nephew. Just Oh, so are you actually doing this or is this it's just It's real. Photos? It's legit real. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Go pull up the Instagram. Pull I'm not Instagram. buying it. Easier. Dude, this is like the fans in your comments yeah. like, "Wait, is this still I know real? It's gotten so <laughs> conspiratorial." <laughs> yeah. 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 So I did it as Sorry. a jo- I made videos about cooking as a joke, making fun of the guys in the Middle East. And I was like, "Oh, it'd be funny if I bought and I actually had this thing like just play the cash video. Yeah, operating. Go up. So cool. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah. And so we had our first pop up. Not real, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. <laughs> Quit <laughs> tricking me on camera, bro. <laughs> we had our first pop up last Whoa. Saturday. Whoa. Yeah. Where'd you get that? I made it. What? You made the Iron Man thing? You didn't make, make it. it, but I paid someone else to make oh, it. Oh, well, that's yeah. way different. <laughs> yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, fake. I, I, would, yeah. I would phrase that differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was the real thing. We had our first pop up. It was like, I didn't know what to expect. Dude, the food looks incredible. So, yeah, oh, the food. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a server. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so here, pause it, it, Do you have employees? Like, is this operating right now? No. So it's like we're doing it like per pop up. Like, so I'll do it like maybe once a month. This is our first one, dude. I'm gonna come to the next one. That you should. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love kebabs. So Grace went. How was it, Grace? Yeah, yeah Grace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Grace too. Yeah. It was like two hours. The wait. I think we waited. Wow. Oh, fuck! You should have told me. Yeah. I mean, I was in the costume. Yeah, like, yeah, you can yeah, yeah. up and be like, come with me. <laughs> That's no, awesome. but it had a great turnout. Yeah, I was surprised. It was like, I didn't know what to expect. And I was doing all the prep with my mom. And she was like, what do you think? Like 50 people? I was like, yeah. Like, oh, really? Was, yeah, I didn't know. Whatever. Yeah, I was like yeah. nervous, whatever, right? We had like 300 people come out. Did your mom help? Like, uh, what was her job? She, she marinates. Like, she helps me marinate everything. Oh, so you guys were legit Yeah, it's like very, it like, yeah. Wow. wow. So then, uh... Yeah, it went it went great. We sold out. Like I'm so happy for it. Yeah, it's like a passion project. Yeah. So like, what's the hard, what's the hardest yeah. part about running a restaurant? Uh, running the restaurant. Because <laughs> I did it. I, no, making people believe it's real. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would make the videos, and I'd always be like, people would be like, wait, the food actually looks good. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm like actually cooking it, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then so when I bought the thing, everyone was like, no, it's not real, it's not real. And then the biggest feedback I get. It's like, damn, the food's actually good. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a joke. Do you set tzatziki sauce? Uh, no, we or is do. That Greek. It is, it's all the same thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the same. He said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, because like my uncle. Is that racist. <laughs> it's funny because yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Like, no he's right. Like, it. He's right. You hear this clip? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <Sotsiki Greek>. <laughs> 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 no, you know why he's so right? Because when. Uh, my dad and my uncle, they both started like kebab places like in Orange County. They didn't call it like traditional Afghan. They called it like Mediterranean, uh, Middle East eats. McDonald's. Like, right, make it like feel safe <laughs> yeah, to like the whiteies who are driving whiteies, around. Yeah. 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 Especially totally Afghanistan fair. when like the yeah. war was yeah. going on. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, Afghanistan. Like, yeah, I'm not supporting that. Yeah. 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 They're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not my belly. Yeah. I'll pay them for Afghanistan. <laughs> Cameron, have you seen this? <laughs> yeah. So I, even on the cart, I said like Mediterranean, Afghan, Turkish, because they, they don't even know what they are. 
Mm-hmm. There's like our everything. So it's fair that you said Taziki. I, I lived in Spain. Uh, well, okay. My senior, <laughs> senior high school. But that's, yeah. where, that, that, yeah. that, that's where I got introduced to kebabs. I was like, there's kebabs everywhere. Like, yeah. And these are it's huge in Europe. Yeah. Because oh, those yeah. are the late night eats for like British people. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, like yeah. their hot dog. Mm hmm. It's so good. Yeah. Walk through your next uh your next uh, minion thing that you're gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. So I I made the swarm machine costume, right? Yeah. And so he was on the cart. That artwork was on the cart, and I was like, oh, it'd be funny if like each little bootleg thing from the cart, I make it into an actual like IRL mascot costume. So there's like, look up Arab minions, Kenny. He's got it. He's on it. Uh. So the next one, we're making this. It's like oh, full that's awesome. little throw. <laughs> yep. And this is real. This is all real. That no, it's it. not. <laughs> Stop trying. Dude, you know, when I was single, I used to be paranoid. I was getting. I used to accuse girls of catfishing me and turn out they were real life people. They'd be like, I'm real. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> MTV Catfish is your favorite yeah, show. I was so freaked out I'm with you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I was catfish too. Yeah. I would totally get tricked by that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so easy nowadays. Yeah, yeah. I just married my high school girlfriend. I never had to get catfish. Oh, ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so romantic. Freshman yeah. year. Never had to worry about anyone else. Oh, you've been with her since freshman yeah. year? Wow. Did you guys ever have like a break? Yeah, we had two breaks. Yeah, you, you got to do a rum yeah. springer. Well, it was... <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Christian did that too. He's been with his girl since freshman year, but they like they took sophomore year yeah. off. We did uh she went to Cal State Fullerton, I went to Long Beach State, so it was like we still like right across from each other. Mm-hmm. We still went to sororities and stuff. Oh, that's good nice. stuff. But yeah, it was good. But Sweet. I never did the catfishing phase. Very happy about that. <laughs> I, Thank God. I I almost got catfished. I was um there was this uh, on uh I think it was Hinge. This uh, it was this girl was like yeah, you know, I'm, I'm part of a dominatrix group. Like, do you want to come be our dom? And I was like, I'm, this is <laughs> sick. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I could be a pretty chill dom, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. do you do not seem like a dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, it's yeah. dom energy. Yeah. Right yeah. It's it's like, sure, if you want. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like, it's like, what up, dudes? Uh, clamp the nipples. All right. <laughs> um, but then I, uh, I showed it to my buddy. Because <laughs> like, that, okay. So they're like, oh, if you want to be our dom first you need to get like uh what was it sexually like tested or something by this guy kj <laughs> like you get oh you have to get a massage from kj and i was like what <laughs> and so i shut to my buddy and he's like dude it's just kj yeah 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 i was like oh damn um but i'm very susceptible to deception well, I don't know if I should put that out there. We're all but. together. We're all in relationships, yeah. so we're yeah. safe and sound. Yeah. So yeah, sure. yeah. don't yeah, let dude. don't let KJ get you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, KJ, dude. That was like I, I had a friend who got offered to like do like uh I think the the technical term is bull. You know, for like a cuckold couple, you know, be the guy to Learn come it. in and sleep oh. with the sleep with the guy's wife. But what happens most of the time is it the it's the guy who reaches out to the other guy to get him to come have sex with his wife. Oh, like uh, Adam Twenty Two. Right, but so, <laughs> I, I think I guess nice. I don't even know why I'm still talking about. It, but I, th- I guess the inefficiency to me is you should just have the wife reach out to the guy. But normally the husband brokers it, which I think uh, is just it should be her yeah, body. You're her not going to get yeah. great returns on that. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, tying into your guys' show, you guys just started a live calling. Yeah, on the yeah. chat and JT goes deep. How's that going so far for you guys? You got how many episodes have you guys done that? Dude, like eight. Oh, of calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah like eight. Calls. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's been a blast. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's really brought out the Tony Robbins in me where people will call me and be like, should I break up with my girlfriend? And I'll talk to them for five minutes and be like, yes. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, they'll call in about like real serious yeah. stuff. And I'm like, all right, well, I could like equivocate and be like, oh, I don't know the story. But in my heart of hearts, I'm like, no, I do know the answer to this. And it's typically the thing they don't want to do. And I'm just like, go do it. You're being catfished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. like, you're being catfished. Yeah. Do not trust your girlfriend. She's not real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what we always do, it goes, if it was me. All the accountability is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we have a voicemail segment that we have done here. Uh, this Voicemails is- are safer yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 we're a little scared of. Um, people so, with control uh from our last episode we had a few voicemails voicemails that we did not cover that we wanted to touch base on today it was uh workplace issues yes. uh so it's addressed to you know just the pod and you guys can help us out just elaborate on these voicemails these workplace issues you're anonymous no names no workplace unless you really just want we're just, very anti-corporate america yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know the zoss pod political yeah. sports and anti-corporate america yeah yeah. Hell yeah yeah down with big biz yeah so. except disneyland okay <laughs> <laughs> roll the first one please please Hey, I'm 
one more for Zach. I'm calling back one more time. Um, <laughs> oh, this isn't there yet. No, you can play. You can play. My name out. Let me preface this one, please. Uh, so the is picture, goal? the picture behind you. Whoa! I had chemo, ball cancer, oh, all that good stuff. I did. Wow! But I just wanted to preface that before you guys, this voicemail plays. That's just How the whole thing. Three years ago. Lots oh, of years ago. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's something I do. Where is this love when I talk about it? All right? Because he says I'm a creative character up there. <laughs> he fucking says. Well, he like knows you better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the king of the hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally they don't want to come off the right out the yeah, gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you weren't my son, I'd hug you. Kind of <laughs> <Okay. butt. Yeah. laughs> when you guys come on again, then we. Do you have yeah. a silicone? No. Oh, okay, cool. dude. I was told. Um, I offered. Remember, I offered. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah, you did. I offered to pay for it. Just a tin foil wrapped up. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> you like making stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna color me mine. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, I made this for you. Do you mind sticking <laughs> yeah. that in your sack, dude? <laughs> Dude, I'm It'd dying. mean a lot to me if you if you if you had that <laughs> in your side. Initi- like initially it. Uh, anyways, uh, this caller had uh, some ball questions, but no, I don't have a nice. silicon ball. I was asked to um, get one from the doctors, but then I read online that if you put a foreign object in your body, your body will try and fight it off or some shit like that. Mm. So I went solo. But anyways, that's what this voicemail is about. I'm, I'm glad you. to know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. Sorry. One more for Zach. I'm calling back one more time. Um, this time, you can bleep my name out. I don't give a fuck. My name is Jacob, J-A-K-O-B. Uh, what up? I just want to know with Zach, because I went and got uh, told, oh, yeah, maybe you should go get checked out. Um, I was, okay, so when I was ultrasounded, I had one testicle. When I came out, I had one testicle. Woke up one day, and I had two. That's crazy. I was like, uh, that's kind of weird. Like, oh, yeah, you were three months early, so just develop late. I'm like, there's no fucking way that's possible, but I get it. I understand. And now they're like, oh, yeah, um, you know, your dad, your dad has three. And I'm like, nah, shut the fuck up. That ain't true. And I'm like, no, it's it's, it's serious. So if you have, like, three or four, you got to go get that shit checked. I'm like, man, fuck. The only person I could think of ever when I think about balls not to be gay <laughs> Totally is fine. Zach, because I've been following that motherfucker since I was like 11 or 12 on Vine. I'm 21 Ooh. now. Not to, fit, not to make you feel like an old piece of shit, Zach, but no offense, you've been around for a long time. Yeah. You kind of ran through. Love you. Um, not me. Just I just want to know, is it a scary process to get looked at? And is it expensive? Because uh, I just got kicked off healthcare. And the position I just got, you know, I mean, I'll make a little bit more money. I can go get a look at. So far, I feel great. I, I think I'm fine. They're just saying like, "Oh yeah, you're 21. You can go get checked out." I'm like, "Man, fuck you. I don't want my balls fondled. I don't want to get legally molested, bro. Fuck that." Um, yeah, legit concerned. Either yeah. way, I mean, like this is track for you Besides <laughs> that, is what is it like dealing with? the success you had on Vine, <laughs> and does it still play a factor in what you do today? What, what, what okay, so, yeah. a lot of Dude, questions. I know, I know, yeah, I know. a lot of questions. So, I thought this voice was hilarious, because he does that whole story, and then he just follows up with, like, serious, like, so what's your life like? like <laughs> with Vine and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, going back to that, have you guys been tested, checked, anything like that? Uh, for ball cancer, or do you guys check yourselves? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been, <laughs> check I've, it in here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I need to get physical, but, uh, yeah, I've been checked for sure. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I've got an ultrasound, too. Nice. Yeah, I had, I, had, I had epididymitis. Oh, wow. a swollen nut. Damn. Yeah, Whoa, yeah. That's good. Scary. Yeah, I, I had testicular torsion too. I've had a lot of nut stuff. Torsion. Uh, that sounds pretty. Yeah, tough. torsion. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick. <laughs> fit, that's fit, the balls get fit, too uh, ballistic, dude. <laughs> that's fit, fucking sick. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. So it was like wow. I was like just entering puberty, and I was like my nut really hurts, and it's getting huge, and it's like to be able to like confide in your mom about that was was tough wow so finally i was like mom my ball hurts and then uh <laughs> and then i had to get surgery and they like untwisted it oh yeah wow yeah sorry audience oh, um, they've heard way worse yeah. Shit than <laughs> yeah yeah they're used to it uh and then and then epididymitis in college where it just had a swollen nut um he's <laughs> the doctor he's like he's like looks at me he's like did you, he's like, did you do anal? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I wish, dude. Dab <laughs> <laughs> each other up. Like, yeah. uh, was the Dom's kid's name the J, the guy that was KJ? The, KJ. Do you the know Dom, KJ? The, yeah. <laughs> did you get a massage from KJ? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. yeah, it was supposed to be a dom any day. Like, yeah. like, uh, the doctor's <laughs> waiting on it too. The doctor's like, I'm supposed to dom soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't done this part. week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I think he's backlogged with you. Oh, done. Yeah, the uh, go back to the, your voicemail, Jacob. I believe he said his name was. Um, ultrasound isn't scary. Uh, they could throw you through like that long cancerous tube, like where they just slide you in and they just like X-ray you for a while. Oh, the MRI the machine. MRI machine. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. So that's that's fun. gotta be nerve inducing. Yeah. yeah, you just literally like they go hold your breath and you hold no your metals. breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you feel like you're getting cancer again. They'll like, throw you a like, Zanny though if you. Oh really? If you get too squirrely what? in there. Yeah. <laughs> I had it. I had one on my elbow, and I was like, "This just oh, it yeah. feels like you're trying. It's like it feels like you're cave crawling. You're yeah, but is it like, like shooting fucking? Out. I don't know. Yeah, it shoots. shoots. They don't like, want to do it too, too <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, right <laughs> on, right there, dude. The sunlight is the only <laughs> beams you need. Yeah, yeah, dude. Also, I think the reason this dude's ball dropped late is because uh, some people are born without DHT production. And so that's what actually gets your nut to drop when you're young. Wow. So some people's nuts don't drop until puberty because you don't need DHT at that point to go. It's not part of the puberty process. So there's there's people who have internal testes and they drop when they're like 13 because, uh, wow. yeah, they just have a genetic malfunction with DHT. But it's good. You'll keep your hair forever. A 1.7, dude. I don't see how that's fucking possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have <laughs> good hair, too. Now that's that's <laughs> well because I had to inhibit my DHT. It's from taking a propecia and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But it's good. That'll help you with your free range tea. So go for it, baby. Yeah. The uh, the whole three and four ball thing. I've never heard of that in my life. Yeah. So yeah, that's too many balls. Huh? Yeah, that's a cap, lot of balls. <laughs> Save some for the rest of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then how's your career going? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the career. Career's fine. You imagine Thanks having four balls with this economy? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude you have confidence? Yeah. yeah. There's like triplets waiting for you. Pay for your time. fair share, dude. I, I say just get checked. It doesn't hurt. When I found yeah. out he had cancer, I got checked the same week. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I freaked out. Dude, yeah. So I was going through chemo, and while he tried to shave his head in like solidarity with me, and no, it was not. It, well, it was just a buzz cut. Like it did. It wasn't bald. I didn't go all the way. I like, <laughs> like a Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like short on this side. <laughs> Just look like very that. handsome. <laughs> you just look better. <laughs> oh, thank you, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Six five. I thought that was. It was like yeah. Kenny's like buzz that he has like right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's more, actually. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Did it? I, I'm sorry. I'm curious about. Would, were, did you do like the? Did your stuff that you did on camera was it the same or did it change the tone of that when you were going through that process? Uh, wait, oh, we milked the baby. Oh, oh, fine. <laughs> oh, like my Oscar was done. Yeah. yeah, dude. There's a um, uh, there's a TikToker guy. I feel bad. Uh, he went through cancer too, but he like went through like the whole process, all like videotaping it, like really positive, sp yeah. spreading good vibes about it. Um, I didn't record myself like going through chemo. Uh, I went through it through t in 2021 when like shit was like uh, masked up still like uh, no one could come in. It was just me by myself like chilling in the fucking room getting dripped up. Um, but the uh, process like I, I kept it positive like I kept uh, I made hell jokes about it. I still talk about it like I don't. Yeah, it was, it was chill. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. The engagement though, it crushed. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh back to corporate voicemails. Yeah. Yes. Uh that one I just wanted to throw it because I thought it was funny that the dude not funny, but uh yeah, on a serious note, get checked out. Ultrasound isn't that scary. Um, highly recommend doing it. And on behalf of expense for healthcare, I had healthcare. So can't really speak on it, how expensive it is, but I'm not gonna lie to you, any fuck if you get like just like looked at it's like a thousand dollars so KJ, yeah <laughs> kj will get you right he'll yeah. make you forget about yeah. it yeah so. you'll die but you'll be stoked yeah. <laughs> yeah and you'll get to be a dom yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> but good luck to you sir good luck jacob yes hey uh zach and waleed um i heard you were looking for some workplace drama basically i used to work for a gas station and I was supposed to be at work at like 5 a.m. the next day, and I face planted into a giant boulder on a mountain Whoa. Whoa. and got a concussion. And so I called them and I was like, hey, I can't come into work. And they were like, okay, well, it's going to be a no call, no show. And I was like, but I'm calling right now. That's not how that works. And they were like, basically, like, it's going to be an absence. 
And so then I called again at 4.30 before I was supposed to be there at 5 and quit my job without a two weeks notice and blocked the number. Fuck yeah. Smart. I've um, done that. I've never been fired from a job. How many jobs have you been fired from? Uh, I have uh, none. Great voicemail. Bye. Yeah. Hope you're better. I'm, hope, I'm assuming that was a while ago. But face planting into a boulder <laughs> and then expected to go to work is a rough one. Was she mountain biking? Did she? I, must, I don't know. She that, didn't say. Yeah, why was she bouldering? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought bouldering is a new sport. No? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just yeah. swan oh, diving. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Bad decision. Your first day at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing a really big extreme sport. Yeah. Um, I always thought that it'd be tough to be in like your mid to late thirties and to call in and be like, "I hurt myself skateboarding." <laughs> <laughs> and your boss is like, "Why were you skateboarding?" <laughs> that wasn't part of the interview process <laughs> when we asked you what you do yeah. outside of work. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon cards, Yu Gi Oh, and not, and like, not having health insurance too, and still skateboarding. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, You guys ever done like the I five drive from uh, SoCal to NorCal, and you get like those random cities? Long- do you guys ever wonder where they? live like the people like the gas stations that are out in the middle yeah. fucking nowhere yeah. dude like this is what i'm imagining this girl like 5 a.m work and like you have to I, be at a I, it's fucked up i fantasize about them yeah i like okay they go home and the little farm yeah like, dude yeah. i don't know where you live yeah. like how far like off the grapevine are you turning like, butter yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah how many people do you know yeah like, yeah yeah who are your friends you know like yeah. five people's names <laughs> 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 well, like what's your friday night looking like yeah, yeah dude do you like come into la ever like yeah. you're welcome to live here i'll give you a ride once in a while you know like <laughs> you clock out and you're just like All right, i'm just gonna go hang out by the rocks for- <laughs> 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 yeah. damn dude yeah uh, but any uh job firings that you guys have had um i uh I was going to make up something, but no. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you're a golden child. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I got fired. Yeah. I um, I was an assistant to actually a person who was um, one of the first like podcasting impresarios. He was, he was doing well in the biz and I was, was trying to learn about it. I was one of the worst assistants. I mean, I would have given my life for this guy. Like I helped him move. I would run through a wall for him, but I'm like terrible with logistics. So I would send him to like the wrong place for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> he would like call me and be like, "Hey, I'm on this. St- I'm at the Starbucks on the west side. Like, where's the other guy?" I was like, "Oh fuck, dude. I'm like supposed to be on the east side. Like, Let me check the maps. I'm like, you're an hour and twenty away. I don't think it's gonna happen." Oh how, my god. How long did you have that gig for? Only like three or four months, and then oh, he finally. And I was really sincere. Like every time I'd mess up, I'd send him a long email, being like, "Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, you deserve better than this. I'm doing a bad job." And uh, at a certain point, he was like. Dude, I love you, but you just like really suck at this. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, you want to speak on your market one? Oh yeah, I got laid off uh, working on a company for like four or five years. And do you guys know market? It was like Chinatown market. It was like a oh yeah, brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. It was like the face of the brand. Yeah, and then uh, gave like a good chunk of my life. Yeah. They got laid off, but we're still friends. Yeah, but yeah. your Hasbula story the week. The- oh yeah, <laughs> fucking you so the Hasbula? week. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So the week uh, I got laid off, I made a collab happen with Hasbulla and Market, and it was our biggest collab. Legendary, of the year. like yeah. biggest collab. Like we sold through like hella products. We made a plush of Hasbulla, and like Hasbulla is very sensitive of like idolizing himself because he's Muslim. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So biggest drop of the year, and then the next day I got laid off. Yeah. <laughs> really? Is he a good guy, Hasbulla. Yeah, I mean, he was like, he comes in a crew. I want to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in a crew of like Russian dudes. And the thing is like, if you want to get good stuff out of him, he's almost like a little kid in the way of like, not because of his height, yeah. but like, like you gotta get him like happy. Yeah. His like, demeanor him, like, seems like that. Like he's, he's kind of, he's so playful in this stuff. I've yeah. Seen. But you have to like get him like, Oh look, we brought you some really cool cars to like mess around with. Or like, yeah, Oh look. pinch his cheek when you said that. No, really no. Well, up. that's like a, like a cultural <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are the dudes he's with kind of hard? Yeah, they're like Dagestani ripped and like yeah. they're, prote- they're protecting Bro, him. Dagestan over the last couple of years, I mean, talk about a meteoric yeah, come Yeah, good for them. Like, <laughs> good for them. And then they're scary too because they're like, is this pizza halal, the pizza that I ordered? I was like, fuck, I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like hardcore Muslim too. Interesting. And so, I mean, he was overall pretty nice. Yeah, just a legendary drop that you just... Yeah, got, then got, you got laid off the next day. Literally, like two days after. Did you get a reason? Like, or? Uh, it was just like you know the typical like uh, corporate like you know due to difficult decisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Restructuring all this stuff. Damn. 
but we're still chill. Yeah. I almost got, I was an, I was an intern at a reality TV company and this dude who I was boys with, but he would pick on me at work and it got pretty, I, I, I just have like one of those faces people like to pick on me sometimes. He started like flicking my ears and stepping on my shoes when I was walking and stuff. What? And I don't think he knew it was upsetting me. And I talked to my family about it. And my parents are like animals. They're like, you got to like, Say something. they're like, you got to hit him. Take and then back. so <laughs> I, uh, I smacked him one time after. Whoa, work. Fuck yeah. yeah. He, he tried to leave. Like he went down, he left early and I like followed him and I was like staring at him in the elevator. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not a very big guy, but I just had like a maniac glaze. I was like, I'm going to kill you. And then, <laughs> and we got downstairs and I was like, come to the, I was like, we were in New York. I was like, come to Union Square with me. We're gonna fight and, and we're gonna settle this. And then he was like, "No." And then, <laughs> and then I went, "Fight me!" And I didn't slap him hard. I just—it was more just like, yeah, just the fact that I touched him, yeah. like felt in so intense to both of us. And I just like smacked my hand across his face, and he just looked at me like I was out of my mind. And he started running down the street, and I chased him for like two blocks. And then I came to like what I was doing, and I hopped in a cab and went home. And I called, I called my dad, and I was like, "Dad, uh." I, uh, I like punched my coworker. I feel like <laughs> I was like I feel like I feel like I'm just totally deranged. And then my dad was like, he was proud of me. He's like, you did the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> Close fist or open yeah. fist? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got laid off. It's not a great story, but yeah, I just got fired from my first ever job. Uh, they put me on a pip. Uh, performance indicator plan or whatever it was 40 45 Which basically days. means you, you're fired yeah. yeah what does that mean they're just like monitoring you yeah. to see yeah. like everything you're doing if it's worth it yeah i i was jumping through hoops to try and keep this job because i was still on health care like the whole situation i still needed it and they let me go after that so it's all good Did, were you like when they put you on that were you like all right i'm just like on Biden's i looked it up. it was my first time ever hearing of it i thought that i was okay i thought i just had to get my shit together because when you texted me about it i asked one of my co i was like have you ever heard of a pit before he's like yeah basically means they're fired yeah so <laughs> but the more i googled it the new uh, the more i knew i was fucked has so. it changed your guys's dynamic on it where like now that people will work for you guys at various times does it change the way you think back on the bosses that you had yeah 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 well you oversee people so you can speak on it if you want i mean now now because like for the kebab cart there's like uh yeah. we had our first pop-up <laughs> you're my boss <laughs> <laughs> and uh like you're on the pip list and you know what i think like i look back and i kind of learned this from my boss a little bit like he was always like not like pizza party kind of vibe like hey if everyone does good we all get pizza parties yeah but he would like he would always like okay guys let's all like Let's take a PJ to New York and get Sugarfish. Whoa, really? Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is sick as fuck. Like, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then so I took a little bit of that. And like even from the first pop-up, like we updated everyone because we made money. And I was like, okay, everyone's going to get paid more. Zach's finally going to get paid <laughs> for yeah. once. Yeah. So it felt good like uh, like getting having everyone get a little piece of the pie. Like taking care of the Yeah, team. exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Last voicemail, please. Kenny, roll it. So you all said to call one about work drama, and I work at a salon, and to put it simply, one of our hairdressers happened to not only steal a car from our owner, but they also managed to commit identity theft uh, from her own mother and her daughter and uh, is now facing multiple lawsuits from multiple people because she just keeps running away. And we didn't know any of this until she didn't show up one day, and that was because she fled once again. So she also was very rough with the clients and um, was going to face charges for that as well, uh, but now we have no idea where she went. So... Be on the lookout. I guess. <laughs> she shows up here. Ah! I just think it's so funny. Like you get your hair fucked up at the barber, but it's not really her. Like you're like, oh, Denise fucked up my hair. Like yeah, that's not really Denise. She's yeah, out. Yeah, this, yeah Denise yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so who fucked fled, up my hair? I cut my own hair. Country, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I was it's just, just saying, like a Fight Club thing. <laughs> I was just saying that whole thing. I was like, is this KJ again? <laughs> <laughs> KJ's just everywhere. Damn. Well, How do you get your identity stolen, first of all? That's on you. Yeah. <laughs> There's one password, dude. She said she was rough with the customers and she's facing charges. charges yeah. Like she fucked up people's hair so bad yeah. that they went to the cops. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, how do you get rough where you're just like blow drying and you just smack them? Yeah. Well, you see those videos in, around like, yeah. in India where like people like do the oh, hair yeah. they're smacking the back of it. Yeah. 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 So you get the back off, you yeah. know, the back hair. You're like, let me give you a scalp massage and just fucking <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, yeah, 26 oh, yeah. elbows. Oh, oh. <laughs> just beat the shit out of you. Well, like, this uh, is Swedish. Sending these lovely gentlemen off. That's right. Loud and proud. Chad and JT, go check out their podcast. That's right. Any socials you would like to plug? TikTok, Instagram, anything like that? So our, our podcast, Chad and JT, go deep on YouTube. Yep. Um, Chad goes deep Instagram. Yep. Oh, should we yep. plug the perineum sunning uh, idea, even without a date? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we're trying to do... We're trying to hold the world record for perineum sunning, which is like... <laughs> what is butt, that? It's butthole sunning. I knew. Oh. Yeah, I was like, wait, is that the butthole spreading? Which is like so, the healthiest thing you can do. You won't need MRIs if you do this. Yeah. <laughs> no healthcare? No health. You don't need healthcare if you do this. Hey, are you the world record for how many people or how At long? once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's amazing. So, for unity. <laughs> this is a call to all SoCal people. <laughs> I think we're going to do it in San Diego. Yeah, Black Speech, because yeah. it's, uh, it's nude accepting. Yeah, so if you're in San Diego and you want to send your b-hole, come meet us. Okay, wait. Now I want, I can't send you off. Like, Hang on a yeah. second. Yeah. Are, when you're sunning, like, what is it called? Perineum? Perineum. Perineum sunning. No one can see other people's assholes because your head's down, right? So it's kind of it's kind of isolated in a sense. You are in your own little, like, bubble. Yes. Yeah. So you can't see it. Like, when you're sun or uh, per- whatever perineum yeah perineum you what is the position that you're in like is it face down oh, no, you're oh. grabbing your ankles <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thank yeah, yeah. you i thought it was like face down spreading you can do like, it yeah. that way but you won't get as many of the health benefits <laughs> yeah as, you won't get full coverage solar it doesn't penetrate the gooch <laughs> got it mm-hmm. and san diego's usually cloudy are you guys picking like a good day of sun coming out or you guys haven't picked a date yet no, actually, we just thought of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it, but but our whole heart's going into it, and we're gonna yeah, make yeah. it happen. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make sure it's Sunday. Yeah, yeah, and we want to. Yeah. Look, we've been surprised sometimes at not getting the huge event we wanted, but yeah. with this one, it's I a guarantee. I know it's gonna work. I can bring yeah. the card out. I was gonna yeah. say, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude! make a menu box? item. We could yeah. uh, <laughs> special. I mean, what what else do you want? Some nude butthole stunning and some good eats yeah, with some wow. good people. It's just so gassy after shorma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll save for after. Yeah, after, after, yeah, after, after for after. sure. Oh, yeah. man. Well, Chad and JT goes deep uh, or go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. Uh, perennial. I can't even say it. Whatever. They're they're crushing it. Please go check them out all across socials. Their podcasts. You can call into their podcast loud live and proud mm-hmm. um so please thank you guys for coming in it's very nice meeting you guys yeah, dude it was so it was fun thank yeah. you guys yeah it's good you, to meet you guys it's first time we met one oh. last uh can we do for grace's cam we could do a a nice shaka cam hell yeah <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> awesome thank you <laughs>